everyone, my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we are back with more DuckTales. Woo! -hoo. I'm super excited to watch. Hope you guys are as well. Today we are going to be watching Season 2, Episode 5, Starkules in Duckburg. I am so hyped for this episode, guys. Like, no joke. I actually thought uh, Storkules was just a little like cinnamon bun. He was so cute. He was so just like my friend Donald. And I just loved it. He was a very wholesome character. So I'm actually hyped. Um, as long as this title isn't misleading. But Storkules, I'm I'm hyped to see him again. I loved his interactions with Donald. <laughs> now Donald's like, just leave me alone. I'm not your friend. It was fun. So I'm excited for more kookiness. That callback from season one will be really enjoyable for me, at least. <laughs> I don't know about Donald's enjoyment, but I'll be hyped. So super excited to watch. Hope you guys are as well. Please keep in mind, if you want to support my channel, you can check out my Patreon page. Link down in the description below to go watch my full-timer reactions over there. But without further ado, let's get started. Introducing Louie Incorporated. Uh, oh. That's nice. <laughs> Suits, ties, uh -huh. shorts, numbers, yachts, oh, jet skis. Ooh, okay. You? Louie Incorporated. It's a free business movement. But what does it do? They do just do an internet search for the word business. That's a trade secret. Uh, okay, so there's some things I haven't figured out yet. Like what your business sales does yeah. and things. So yeah, but this business is everything to me. I want to be a successful businessman like you. Then come up with a business idea. You have to find a problem and offer a solution. Yeah. My problem is I need money. And if you would just give it to me already, problem solution. Oh. He saw there was a housing shortage in Duckburg, so he's renting out a spare room in his houseboat. Problem, solution. He's oh. helping people. And is he stealing my shadow here? Hi! Just adding a chandelier does not make it fancy. Oh! Hey, bud! Could have. You could have a villain as a roommate. Yeah, yeah, that's worse. I think. As punishment for my childish gaiety, father cast me out and ordered me to become a responsible adult. So oh. I thought, who better to teach me than the most responsible man I know? Oh boy. A successful business must find a problem and solve it. And that, my employees, is what we are here to figure out. We're not your employees. Uh, We're your family. Where's Dewey? Family are the greatest employees of all. I mean, except Dewey. Dewey would make a terrible employee. Uh, oh! There. 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 Well then, I guess Webby will have to be Chief Chart Officer. Yeah, gonna need a lot of charts. And checklist. Plus, maybe checklist for those charts. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, fine. I'm in. Oh, Webby, I'm sorry. Oh. Cohabitant Donald, good morrow. Where's the stove? Donald was nearly disastrous. Your stove made a horrible hissing sound when activated. Clearly a foe filled it with dangerous vipers. So I arrested the infernal snake box from the wall and threw it to safety. Oh. Now, we eat and restore our heroic vigor. <laughs> By Helios' truth. A job. That sounds most responsible. Okay. Oh. They followed me from Greece. I must wrangle those wretches so I can get back to my glorious labor of roommate responsibility. We've already spent our entire annual budget on ski ball. So, company done? Everyone relax, okay? Our company just needs to find a problem to solve. This is an odd episode. Just gonna lay that out right now. 
If someone sees a harpy, they have to know who to call and pay lots of money to get rid of it. You better hope someone calls because we're already broke. Guys, are the harpies really so bad? Instead of capturing them, why don't we just channel their passion into something positive for society? No, we need them to keep coming back. Okay. Harpy gone, please hold. Harpy gone, please hold. Ah. Uh. Starkly's boring grease stuff do not open. I've been training them. I already got them to roll over a couple of times. Before they nod through the floor. I've been figuring out how to get them to listen and- Or we could keep the monsters locked up. You can pay us and we'll call it a day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. No problem. Yeah, I'll just reach into my pocket where the money is. <laughs> and your money is coming. You spent all the money on the merchandise, didn't you? Yep, she sure did. <sighs> oh boy. <gasps> Corporate Overlord Llewellyn. Overlord? Corporate Overlord? I just wanted to check to see if they were locked in safely. <sighs> yep, everything looks good, so just go, I guess. Of course. And Lawyer Llewellyn, you have the honesty and integrity of a true hero, just like your uncle. Oh. Fine. I was gonna let them out, okay? I have to save the business. Uh. <laughs> Just, you know, getting a midnight snack. <laughs> Rumbles in the tumbles. <laughs> we should let you get back to your beauty rest. Oh, yeah. You have your pants. No, A sleep cap. Ah, uh, <laughs> I love those signs. It's so funny. Oh. No, treasure friendship is the one thing I love most. Oh, that was most unwise of me. Yeah. God damn it, Louie. Personal space. Nice! Good! Nice work. Actually, good job. I feel like we all have learned something here today. Find a business opportunity in Cape Suzette. Yeah. So, you lost it all, did ya? Yep, big time. Oh, here's your investment back. It's a of payments for that new idea you gave me. Oh! Uh, you opened a lemonade business? Uh... <laughs> So can we get that lemonade? Lemonade sounds really good right now. That's right, Roxanne. No shipping costs, no fuel emissions. And we pay them the thing they want most. 
Delicious McDuck brand lemonade. Nice. Because a CTO, Chief Delivery Officer, update intel. Uh, I believe in turning problems into solutions. But how do you keep the harpies from stealing all your lemonade? The <laughs> we are still working on that particular problem. <laughs> cute. That was cute. I like that one. All right, kids. So I think we learned all you gotta do is just make lemonade and you'll become a billionaire. That's all you gotta do. Just have a lemonade stand, you become a billionaire. It's just, boom, just that easy. Millionaire. Boom, lemonade. There you go. <laughs> um, no, I actually really like this episode. Not making fun of it. I will say I definitely do like this, um, the Louis arc that we're going through. I genuinely enjoy it. Mainly because Louis is an interesting character. I feel like he has drive, but yet also lacks drive. He's definitely, I would say, the laziest out of the bunch. But not in a bad way. It's just that work smarter, not harder mentality. And I don't think that's wrong in any way, shape, or form. I am a firm believer that if there's an easier way to do something that is time and cost effective... It should always go that way over the way that we have been using that will work. That has worked for 20 some years. I think it's always worth going for the more time effective way and cost effective. So I don't, I'm not saying Louis is lazy. It's just very a um, more millennial kind of thinking. And I don't think it's wrong. So I like this episode a lot. I like learning more about just everything kind of his lack of goal for what he wants his business to be i find it rather humorous that he's just like well my my goal is i want to make money my problem is i want to make money solution is i get money <laughs> it, it's just kind of hilarious because it is that like well i work you know 40 hours a week so i should get paid money like yes but then again, I don't think we need to work 40 hours a week. I don't think that's correct at all. I don't know when that became a standard. But honestly, I think that's a lot of time of your week taken up working to get paid nothing. Peanuts. And not even make poverty half the time you're working these 40 hours. I think it's ridiculous. So I, I like this. It definitely kind of... It hits home with the aspect of, like, there are smarter ways to do things that are better for everybody and not killing, slaving away. And I think Circulies coming in to kind of help with that does help cushion that kind of uh, dark tone of working. Because, yeah, Circulies has to make rent. He has to be a good roommate. He's trying to make it in a world... When he's suddenly thrown out in there. And I think for a lot of people, especially younger generations, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> like, sorry, but we don't. I am 25 years old. I'm going to have a house mortgage soon. I bought my first ever real bed. Like, there's all these things that, like, no one prepared me for. Taxes, all of this stuff. I'm still figuring out my life like I most certainly do not have it all together I'm sitting here watching cartoons <laughs> I don't have life together and I think Scrooge helps us understand that he is someone who's been around the block and he himself is still trying to figure out his next big thing he doesn't have it all figured out and I think the perfect comparison to make to that is Donald Sturkulius sees Donald as this responsible adult, what have you. Donald can't hold a job. Donald's living in a boat, not because of a housing crisis, because he can't afford to live in a very, very expensive apartment in the town, in Duckburg. So he rent, he got a boat instead because he probably could not afford to get a mortgage to buy a house. So he has a boat, which is significantly cheaper than any house you will ever buy. There is a big ass spider on my wall. Dustin! 
Oh, whoa, that's a weird one. <laughs> it was a big spider. Like, probably yay size. He was massive, just up on the ceiling, crawling around. <laughs> that was gross as shit. Oh, this is why we have, this is why we have spouses, so that they can handle. It. <laughs> See my point? I'm not an adult. <laughs> my point made, but yeah. <laughs> Overall, what I was trying to say before a spider broke my treaty of if I don't see you, you don't go away. Um, I know Donald or uh, Scrooge said that like, see, Donald's uh, bought the better housing crisis. And it's like a housing crisis is that rent is going up and there's a shortage of homes. So houses are very expensive. So he had to buy a boat. That's not a solution. That's not, that's not, that shouldn't happen. If we're having a housing crisis, we build more affordable houses. That's the solution so that people can live so that we don't have an influx. And so prices aren't skyrocketing to get into these houses that are quite frankly dog trash. So it's, it's kind of ridiculous. I, I took a little offense when, Scrooge said, like, look, he solved this. And it's like, that's such a boomer thing. That's why these stupid people, no offense, no offense if you are one of these people or know someone, but no offense, these dumb people are buying these stupid shipping containers and making shipping shipping container houses. How cost effective. No, they're super not cost effective. They're actually very bad. Want to know why? You have to get all the electricity, the plumbing, all that stuff. The heating is insane. Water hookups, all this shit. And then you have to buy land still. <laughs> They're not that great. Yeah, at the end of it, you probably could have bought an actual house house for almost around that cost. Would it have been the best house? No. But you could have got a mortgage and actually gone and like done things to this house with the money you spent on trying to buy the shipping container. They're not that cheap. So it's it's ridiculous. I hate the housing crisis. It's so dumb. And I like that it was mentioned in this, actually. It's kind of funny. So overall, um, a very interesting episode. Very proud of Louie. I still think he needs some... I don't know, he just needs like a little class because th he just needs some direction. And I think Scrooge is getting there with him. Just, we need a little bit more. So, <laughs> overall, super fun episode. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Please remember if you like this, so like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you uh, later.